And Denver's Pride Fest is June 25th and 26th, and the Center on Colfax's Pride Parade is going to be in person for the first time since 2019. And headlines were made last year when police were prohibited from participating in the parade. Now, that plan has changed this year. Denver 7 CB Cotton has these exclusive details. The outside world always has an opinion, and those inside the Center on Colfax know this all too well. Well, our announcement last year about Denver Pride and not including uh, police in that uh, event was very controversial. In 2021, Denver's Pride Parade was virtual due to COVID, but still the center announced that for the first time, police couldn't participate as exhibitors. The Center on Colfax CEO Rex Fuller says over the past year, they've done a lot of listening and reflecting. And this year for the parade slated on June 26, there's a new plan. We're working with um, representatives from uh, law enforcement and first responders to create a group called Pride on Duty Colorado. And the idea is that we will be able to incorporate in the Pride Parade this year LGBT law enforcement officers as well as other first responders so that they can be represented. LGBTQ officers from across the region are expected to join in the parade on foot. It'll be a marching contingent, I believe. This is the first year that we're doing it. I think what's also exciting is that the Pride on Duty group also wants to provide year-round support for LGBT officers and first responders. Fuller knows this concept won't make everyone happy. Many police officers were really hurt and were offended by the decision. The center said last year's move was to stand in solidarity against, quote, police violence aimed at the black community. The center also cited the history of the LGBTQ civil rights movement. The pride movement really started in reaction to the Stonewall riot back in 1969, which was a, a, a riot that came from police harassment of the LGBT community. But a new year? A new decision, and Fuller says the center is striving for inclusion. We've tried to come to the best compromise that we can that would represent the most perspectives of what we heard throughout the past year. We reached out to several officers who identify as LGBTQ for this story, but none were available this evening. I was able to speak with one Denver police officer who plans on participating in this year's Pride Parade, and he says he's very excited for this public display of two parts of his life. In the newsroom, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.